Hi year three, I hope you're all keeping well and safe. So, chapter 30, down the up pipe. Oh dear. Harry and George had had some good luck and they'd had some bad luck on their adventures. Now, they have had the best luck, bit of luck they've ever had so far. They just didn't know. It happened when the Hoomin turned on the tap, turned the tap on. Full was that. Nothing happened. Not a thing. Where this Hoomin lived, things didn't always work properly, and sometimes there was no water for a while. In a wonderful, by a wonderful piece of good luck, for the Sinties, no water came out of the shower to wash them away and maybe drown them, not a single drop. So they shot down the up pipe and fell into the earth pile together in a, tri in, a in a tangle. And no jet water shot down after them. A lot of noise did follow them. It was the Hoomin saying bad words in a very loud voice. But the Sinties didn't know that. They untangled themselves and stood up. Most of the white choke had gone and they felt terrific. Triumphant! They'd done it! They'd actually climbed, climbed on a Hoomin and survived. They felt like a pair of the, they felt like a pair of the bravest senties who ever lived. Oh. Wait till we tell Mama, crackled Harry. Wait till... And then they saw her. She was lame at the bottom of the earth pile. They saw her in the light coming down the up pipe. She was laying in a crumbled heap. She looked like, she looked like a very dead senti. Oh, it's made me feel really sad. Um, well, what a horrible way to end the story. I don't know if there's another chapter, that was chapter 30. I'm hoping there's a chapter 31 and hoping that she's okay. Oh, what a sad way to end. Take care everybody, bye.